Hello. In this video, I'm going to introduce uh, chemistry that occurs at the alpha carbon, uh, and by alpha carbon, and what, what we mean by that. What I mean uh, when I talk about an alpha carbon is, I need to be able to, is on a carbonyl compound, uh, there is a way of noting things. So here, I need to do this differently. Where we uh, label the carbon atoms relative to, with their position relative to the carbonyl group. So we have the carbonyl carbon, we have the alpha carbon, the beta carbon, the gamma carbon, the delta carbon, you can imagine epsilon, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. If you've ever heard about uh, carboxylic acid or fatty uh, acids or, or fats that are labeled as omega-3 or omega-6, that omega refers to the end of the chain as far away from the carbonyl carbon as you can get. And the three and the six has to do with uh, how many uh, carbon units right, that are, are there in that chain. So like one, two, three, four. Like this fatty acid here would be labeled and omega-3 fatty acid because the unsaturated uh, unsaturation occurs three carbon units from the omega end, which is as far from the carbonyl as you can get. Now, we spent a lot of time, I've spent a lot of time in earlier videos, and you spent a lot of time learning about carbonyl groups as electrophiles. So, you know, under the right sort of circumstances, carbonyl groups react with nucleophiles, undergo addition reactions. Uh, other things can happen along the way, but this is a characteristic reaction of carbonyl compounds. In this sequence of videos, we're going to talk about the type of situations in which carbonyl groups react as electrophiles, I'm sorry, react as nucleophiles with electrophiles. Um, and at the moment, we're just going to talk about acid or base. Carbonyl groups are nucleophiles at their alpha position. Yes. Uh, and so you end up with an electrophile at the alpha position. And the rest of the sequence of the video is going to talk about how that happens um, and, and the different types of reactions that, that lead to this electrophilic substitution or electrophilic reaction at the alpha position. So stay tuned. We're going to talk about what happens in acid and what happens in base generically, uh, and then we'll move on to some specific reactions. Thank you for watching.